This is the weight in kilogram of 50 contestants at a competition is as follows. So these are their weights. Construct a frequency table for the discrete data and calculate correct two decimal places the mean and standard deviation of the data. So let's start with the um, construction of the frequency table. To construct the frequency table, let me just move this a bit. Okay, let's draw a frequency table here. Now, if you look at this data here, you notice that the lowest number here is 62 and the highest number here is 60, um, 68, 68 here. So, on our frequency table, we'll have the weight, the weight as x, so let's put this as x, then we'll have the tally, we'll write out the tally, so let's just write the weight let's just put the weight here so for the first one we have 62 if you check we have 63 so I put 63 if you check we have 64 we have 65 we have 66 we have 67 we have 68 as the highest value so I'll just put this as I could, I could just roll this down just roll this down like this so we'll go again now we'll put our tally so that we can just write out all the numbers of um, 62 63 64s we have there so I'll just put my tally here. So I'll say for tally, let me just bring this down. Okay. So I'll let me increase this a bit like this. So now for the tally. Now this kind of number of 62s we have here. Now if you check, we have just one 62 in the data. So I'll just put one here. Now if you check the data, you notice we have um, five 63s. So I'll just put one, two, three, four, five. Five. These are your two tallies. When you get to the fifth one, you just cross it like this. Now, if you check this also, you notice we have 12 64s. So I'll just put this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 1, 2. So we have 12 of that. Now, if you check for 65, we have 14 65s. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you check for 66, we have 1066. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if you check for 67, we have 667s. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, so that's 6. Now, if you check for 68, we have 268 there. So since we have 268, let me just bring this down a bit. Since we have 2 there. Um, let me roll this like this. So since we have 268, we'll leave that like as that. So that's the frequency. For the frequency, let me put this as F. Now we have 1, we have 5. Just write the number of tallies we have here. 5. Here we have 12. Here we have um, 14. Here we have 10. Here we have 6. And here we have 2. Now if you add this together, you see that the sum of the frequency is equal to 50. So I'll bring this down again. I'll bring this down. Okay. Let me maximize my space. So I'll just do this like this. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is to find f of x squared. Now I'll the reason why we have to find f of x squared is because we are going to use this in our formula which I'll show you very soon. So you just multiply the frequency times x squared. So that will be 1 times 62 squared will give us 3844. So you say 5 times 63 squared will give us 19845. You go again and say 12 times 64 squared. So that will be um, 49152. You go again and say 14 here times 65 squared. This will give us 59150. So you go again and say 10 times 66 squared. This will give us 43, 43560. So you say 6 times 67 squared. This will give us 26934. So you say 2 times 68 squared. This will give us 9248. Now we need the summation of this. So you say f of x all squared. This is equal to by the time you add this together, you'll get 211733. Now the reason why we have to find summation f of x squared is because we'll use this in our formula. Now you can use uh, we have two formulas for standard deviation. For standard deviation, you can either use this formula for this type of um, data. You can use summation f of uh, summation f x minus x bar, then all squared divided by summation f, or you can use this one here. You can use summation f of x squared all over summation f. 
minus summation f x all over summation f then all squared like this so i want us to use this here i want us to use this so that's why we had to find f of x squared here so because we'll be using this formula yeah so if you like you can use this formula but i think um it's faster using the second formula so if you check the question here we're asked to calculate the mean so to get the mean i'll just say the mean which is um, x bar here so the mean is only summation f of x all of our summation f so for summation f of x oh if you check this we've not um, calculated summation f of x i'll go back to my table i'll put summation f of x so that's f the frequency times x so you say 1 times 62 that give us 62 so you get you get the next one 5 times 63 this will give us 315 Go to the next one, you see 12 times 64 here, this will give us 7, 6, 8. You go to the next one, 14 times 65 here, will give us 9, 1, 0. Then um, 66 times 10 here will give us 6, 6, 0. Then 6 times 67 here will give us 4, 0, 2. Then 2 times 68 here will give us 1, 36. Now, by the time you add this, it will give us the summation of fx which is equal to now add this together this will give us three two five three now we have summation f of x as three two five three so i'll just write three two five three divided by summation f which is 50 so by the time we divide this we we'll get 65.06 now you notice we were keeping our answer to two decimal places because we were told to leave our answers to two decimal places now that's for the mean now for the standard deviation we'll use this formula here so we'll just say for standard standard deviation this is equal to just put my formula here my square root is looking funny so i just put summation f of x squared all of our summation f minus summation f of x all of our summation f all squared so I'll bring this down a bit so here I just say okay for in the square root how come this square root is looking funny like this okay so summation so f of x squared here is 211733 divided by summation f which is 50 minus summation f of x which is um 3253 three, all of our summation f which is 50 now this one is squared so by the time we do this, by the time we do this, two one seven three three divided by fifty here give us four two three four point six six. Now three two five three divided by fifty all squared will give us four two three two point eight zero. So let's just bring that here. So by the time you find this, we just say square root of um this minus this will give us 1.86 so the square root here would give us 1.36 this is the two decimal places so this is a standard deviation for the distribution